All right, this will be interesting. We got Rin versus Doyo. Doyo's got the Sheik. Rin's bringing out the Sephiroth. This is definitely going to be a matter of stay away from me. I have a long sword versus let me get in and hit you or pummel you with my uh, oh, Sheik fists. I guess Sheik actually uses more legs than anything. But Ren seems to also don't not mind the scrap. I've seen a lot of jabs and a lot of uh, grab attempts. I wonder if that drag down would have worked if uh, that platform weren't there. I would say that if you're going to go for something kind of cheesy like that, like the 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 strong up B then you should at least reverse it so that if your opponent actually falls for it, they get sent off stage. Well, that's interesting. That's even more interesting. The counter activated on the, uh, the flash grenade. And it, you know, actually knocked Sheik away, but the grenade actually kept on exploding afterwards. I would have thought that it would have destroyed it or like knocked it off of its string so that it wouldn't have exploded. And that's a perfect example of why you need to reverse it. You can reverse it by you hold the up B, and then you quickly press towards the blast zone, and then you press up again, and then Sephiroth will have turned around. So in that scenario, Sheik actually didn't even have a double jump, and if you had sent them off stage, you know, they probably would have lived anyway, because Sheik, they got Bouncing Fish, a good up B, good air drift, but like, it would have been a scary situation, instead of just like, oh, I got hit, but I'm back in center stage now, no big deal. I think that with because the the one wing came at just the right moment, you could have actually survived that, even though you missed the tech. If you just delayed your jumps a bit better. <laughs> We're still one back air away from from death here, or an up air actually. She has too many aerial options. To, to get hit by an up smash like that. You gotta wait until they've used up literally everything. No double jump, but gets the wing right on time to get the third jump. And the super latest of bouncing fishes caused death. Probably could have air dodged if you had your wing still. But we'll see what hap what adjustments can be made in game number two. Mostly, I would say you kind of want to keep Sheik at sword's length. Thanks for stopping by, Master Dave. I'll see you next time. And uh, you can talk in the Discord if you're having trouble signing up for the tournament. Let's keep an eye on everyone else's sets here. So they're going here. Bit Bros and Lil Game. Oh no, they had Stage Morph. Oh no, they had, uh, what's it called? Stage Hazards on.
I need to like make a video one. Here's how you make a tournament rule set arena. Game two, Rin has swapped over to the Terry from the Sephiroth. Doyo sticking with the Sheik. I wonder what uh, characters they brought throughout the rest of the tournament so far. Because like we saw the Fox versus Sonic, but I think that that was a Sonic specific counter pick character. It worked last week, but you know, not so much this week. I like the, the quick dash back. You were in range to get grabbed. Oh, I like that too. You, you did jab two, jab one and two, and then you were like, oh, they're shielding. I'm not going to like do a down B. I'm not going to use a, a third jab or anything like that. You just kind of stop. It would be even better if you didn't shield because there's not much that she can do. After that, the, it would be better to move instead instead of shield or roll or whatever. The shielding is fine, that's a good option. If the opponent, if Doyo knew that you were going to stop after jab 2, then they could have punished it with Nair or back air out of shield. Carry. What percent did you start that combo at? Was that 7, right? And then you got up to 64? No, it wasn't quite, wasn't quite like that. It was like, yeah, they were at 20. So that was like a good 50% combo. Yep, we marked out for the needles. Oh no, that's no good. You gotta hit them on the way to the ledge, not while they're already on the ledge. Would have been a nice grab to hit. Alright, despite all the work, this is still pretty even. This is why I have no faith in Sheik. There you go, that's the side beat that you need. That didn't stage spike, so you get to live. This is looking pretty convincing, but we got the go meter on deck. Dash stack hits. That's still not close to kill percent, but you know, you gotta get that early percent nice. Mostly like a you know don't throw from the sheep perspective because like you don't want to get too antsy and 
you know, throw out a risky kill option that misses and then you take damage. But I think that maybe Doya's being a bit too cautious here because uh, now Sheik is at kill percent. Like, down smash, power geyser, buster wolf, up smash. That's it, right? Yep, that's it. That's Terry. Comeback mechanics. Looks like I got raided during that match there. Let's take a look at who all joined. Welcome raiders, thanks for your raiding. We got uh, Derp Mize, Kerbo, Joe Star, and Lady Yoda. Meowie Gamer, Texas Tuber himself. Hey there, welcome everyone. The channel here is Stormy Sensei. We play Smash uh, during the weekdays on summers, and we're playing a couple of like old Xbox 360 games on the weekends while the summer goes on. And uh, while the while school is in, we stream single-player role-playing games during school nights. And on the week, uh, weekend nights, we play Super Smash Brothers. So if you guys are interested in that sort of content, be sure to subscribe. What were you playing? Were you, what did you just get through coming from, by the way? Go ahead and plug yourself, uh, Texas. Texas Tuber Tim. Welcome, Captain Eleven. Welcome, Jordan. Interior Crocodile. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Should have gone on the offensive. I could actually see an argument for being a bit more aggressive and actually securing the kill. But all, at the same time, you don't want to go too hard because, you know, if, what's she going to do, right? You were playing a little skyblock. What is that? Is that, um... I, I don't know what that is at all. Oh, played on the Minecraft realm. There we go. It must be, it's a Minecraft minigame. Yep, I know Rin. Uh, Rin, I've known from Vigilante Geek's channel, and also they occasionally come by ours as well. So you guys are all here to support. They actually just got through winning this game here. They win another one, then they move on. And this would actually be a pretty nice upset, actually, if uh, Ren were to beat Doyo Three, here. Two, one, go. So we got uh, Doyo swapping over to the Sephiroth from the from the Sheik. I guess they're saying to themselves, you know. I want a comeback mechanic myself, so here's my uh, Sephiroth with one wing. Uh, Sephiroth is a little bit lighter than Sheik, but they're about the same weight class, so like it shouldn't matter too much. Sephiroth does have a lot more killing power, but less combo power. So, uh, you know, you have to win neutral about as many times in order to get a stock, but it's a little more flashy. You gotta do that up, if, since you saw that they were like on the ledge waiting for you, you should have done your side B a lot sooner. You can, if you hit someone with neutral air as Terry, I think you can actually do side B afterwards as a combo. I've gotten hit by it at least. So Ren catches Doyo retreating to the corner. It's one of uh, Doyo's, you know, worst habits that they like to play in the corner a lot. Overall, a very solid player though. 
I had a very similar issue as well when I played in Smash 4 because the characters I had, Kirby and Villager, didn't really mind being in the corner because Kirby went for Gimps and Villager has like a million projectiles. Ooh, that might have broken shield. I like the, the empty hop. Like, you jump up there to see what they're going to do. If they don't do anything, that's when you hit them with the up air up B. But if they jump away, then you're like, okay, that's fine. Like, I won't overextend. Uh oh, that's his death. And the tech saved their life. Nice, nice tech. Very important. Ironically, I think that. Terry, if they didn't press any button, then Sephiroth would have saved them by using their up B to bring them both back to the stage. I think that Terry would have had to tech. So it wasn't like for free, but yeah, it was actually possible to live there. Uh oh. Communication error occurred. Please let that be not shutting down the whole arena. That shut down the whole arena. All right, so here's what we're going to do about that. I'm looking at the set here. It was two stocks to one, 116% to 34. The whole arena shut down, despite the, the wired connection. I'm not sure what happened there. The stream is still up, and... When I checked uh, the what's it called, it's taking a while to connect to the internet. Hopefully I'm able, okay, there it is. Now you keep the lead. We're going to reset to the same percent and stock count. Like the only thing that really anyone's missing is the fact that um, you know, Sephiroth was using an up B onto the stage and uh, Terry shielded it. We're not going to replicate that. That'd be a little silly. Oops. No, this isn't a stormy thing. This is a bracket thing. So FD. Sephiroth with two stocks, around 116%. And then uh, Terry with one stock at 34. Yeah, and Sephiroth has wings, so let's make sure to do that, so. No, Rin is uh, responding. They're like literally right above you in the chat. It's with a. It has a W in uh, on YouTube, as opposed to Discord. You're assuming gender.
I don't want to, you know, get on my soapbox or anything like that. But um, I do have female friends that play Smash, and they have told me that they feel excluded when everyone just automatically assumes that they're male. How are we going to recreate this? So Sephiroth is going to jump off once, Terry's going to jump off twice, and then you're going to jab each other until you get the right percent. And it doesn't have to be exact. I mean, it should be exact, but like, you know, what can you do? You can't really account for things like this. So Seth Frost stays alive here. Terry SDs. So now Sephiroth hits Terry until he gets to around 34%. There we go. And now Terry hits uh, Sephiroth until they get to around 116. There we go, they got the wings, so that's good. And then like one more ought to do it or so. All right, so go to your corners now. And begin. Anticlimactic, I know. Not sure who's at fault. I mean, it's the internet connection. We're playing together. Like, if you think about it, whenever the snafus like this happen, I like to save for a moment. You know, if we didn't have online, what would you be doing right now? You'd be playing against CPUs. Like, we can't. The only way they were able to even have a tournament at all is by having uh, Nintendo Switch Online services. So that's 2-1 in uh, Doyo's favor.